Yeah. See you later, mate. Right guys, welcome to another video. So the sun's out, it's still really bright, but it's actually really cold. I've arranged to meet up with my mate Philippe, who is an absolute body weight beast. So he's gonna school me today, but it'll be really nice to see him and get a workout in. So I'm gonna cycle there, we're gonna meet up and I'll share with you the workout. waiting on Philippe now. He's never been to this park before. I sent him the directions so hopefully he'll find the right place. But it's really nice outside. The sun's shining but it is really cold in the wind. But I think with a bit of a warm-up we'll be all good. Hey! You don't mind me filming do you? Uh, no worries. Yeah. How's it going? Yeah good. Nice to yeah see you. really nice to yeah. see you. So rather than do some normal push-ups, Philippe's brought his rings and we're gonna set these up and instead of doing the 33 push-ups, we'll do some ring push-ups, which will make it considerably harder, I think. It's better to buy uh, uh, nice quality rings than just go something mm. cheap. I prefer wooden ones, especially if you're gonna do muscle-ups. Mm -hmm. They are much easier on, on the wrist. They're not that expensive though. I bought them a few years ago when I was in Scotland. I travel with them everywhere. It's and ideal, they, they, lightweight, they, right? They're still pretty, yeah, yeah, they're light. Uh, the advantage of, of this is that you can use them for pull, Whereas you can use a T-Rex to do pull-ups. This side should be okay. I was filming myself by accident. Yeah, it's nice because you have this for, like, I let it touch yeah. here. We're like, yeah, fun! So as the sun was shining, of course, we had to get outside and do a workout. And as this was the first time I'd worked out with anyone in a good long time, I was so ready for it. And like all workouts, I started with a decent warm up where I did some skipping to elevate my body temperature and get the blood pumping. And when we were ready, we jumped straight into the workout, which consisted of three separate supersets. The first being pull up straight into dips, and that's four sets of 10 pull ups and four sets of 25 dips. No L sit required. And the second superset begins with bodyweight rows or inverted rows. Set yourself up perpendicular and about nipple height, I would say, pull to your chest fast and touch the bar. Feet wherever you feel is natural, but straight is probably a nice position so you can lock your hips and back. Thanks to Philippe there for pretending to not know what he's doing. And although this is an explosive movement, you want to try and touch the chest with your bar on every rep. Explosively pulling up and slowly lowering on the eccentric. Now grip widths can really vary here. You might want to pull wide like Philippe does, which works more of the upper back and rear shoulder, or with your hands a little bit closer together like I do, which will work more of your lats and biceps. As you do start to fatigue, you might want to move your feet in to take a bit of the load off so you can continue repping out. And after your first set of 20 inverted rows, you want to jump straight into push-ups. And as we set up the rings, we decided to use these for push-ups. And as they're a little more challenging, we kept the rep count to 15. But if you don't have any rings in your arsenal, you can just do standard push-ups. Just keep the reps a little higher, around 25 to 30. So by this point, your chest, back and arm should be feeling pretty pumped. But the third and final set, if you're up for it, is bicep curl, superset with tricep extensions, both three sets to failure. And although this time we did use the rings to do the bodyweight bicep curls, you can of course use the parallel bars to do both exercises. So what we're supposed to be doing is like a modified bicep movement on the bar like that. Wow. What's good about this exercise is as you get tired or you need to make it easier, you can just change the, the fulcrum or the pivot point and stand a bit more upright or make it harder. <laughs> A 
Philippe says, your rope should be about as long as up to your armpit, which is true, that's great. That's, that, that's what the internet says. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that's it guys, a simple, effective bodyweight workout with just three supersets. I'll leave in the description a specific list of the reps, sets and exercises. But guys, all that's left for me to do now is an unnecessary training montage of me struggling whilst Philippe shouts encouragement. Enjoy. Go on. Good. That was amazing, I'm broken. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I can't do it. No. One more. Excellent. That should be on the shelf again. Oh, well, they're not easy. Oh, nice. Excellent. Ah, one more. I got 15 on my last set. No pressure. Oh, Come on. Oh, I'm going to have to break. Nice. Excellent. Oh. Come on. Good. Yeah, that's excellent. Excellent. <laughs> that beats the barbell curl any day. Oh. This one's not going to be easy either. Oh. One more. That's the workout done. We've basically been talking for half of it. <laughs> but so it took about an hour and a half. But I think without the talking, you can easily get it done in probably under 45 minutes, I'd say, maybe even half an hour if you um, monitor your rest a bit more <laughs> accurately than we did. You would have been sabotaged by toddlers. Oh yeah, and there was tons of kids trying to use the rings, but that's what you get for working out in a park. <laughs> Why do kids have to use parks? But it was a good session. So um, if you enjoyed the video or found something that you think you might like or can relate to, please give the video a like. If you didn't, come back next time. But for now, stay happy and healthy. Thanks very much. Philippe. Say bye. Bye. <laughs>